Namaste. Welcome to my channel Pharma Knowledge Forum. In this session, I am going to discuss about analytical method many validation AMMV. It is impossible for any pharmaceutical company to perform validation for all analytical methods due to various limitations. It may be timeline, it may be cost, it may be resources. That is why company also perform many validation for some of analytical methods. Many validation is also accepted by regulatory agency in some of the cases. As there is not any guideline available on analytical method many validation and hence there is a lot of confusion among pharma professionals related to it. Several pharma professionals contacted me and request to lecture on it. That is why I decided to share my skill based knowledge on this topic. Enjoy the session and clarify all doubt related to analytical method mini validation. In this session, you will learn what is analytical method mini validation, why it is required, in which case mini validation is performed how many validation is performed, what is the difference between analytical method mini validation and analytical method validation, what are advantages of mini validation, what should be a strategy to perform mini validation. What is analytical method mini validation? Mini validation is carried out to check the suitability and validity of an analytical method for its intended use. This test indicates that the intended analytical method will pass the analytical method validation test if performed. It is also called analytical method verification test. How many validation is performed? In many validation, some parameters of validation are selected and performed in a surgical manner. Many validation parameters are decided by project coordinator. Now question is, why project coordinator? Since project coordinator is involved in analytical method development activities and hence he knows the sensitivity about the method. On what basis are many validation parameters are decided? The selected parameters must ensure that the method will not fail in the analytical method validation test if performed. Parameters may be FCT, DL, QL, precision, accuracy, and some of the parameters of robustness. Please note that. SCT, DL and QL are performed properly and other parameters may be performed surgically. I am going to discuss the same in next slide. Now question is in which case many validation is performed for new developed method. In this case many validation is performed to avoid any surprise or failure during validation of the method. To answer regulatory query, sometimes method is developed to only answer the regulatory query and not for routine use. Many validation of that method must be performed. Validated customer's method, sometimes customer's method is used for routine analysis. Many validation of that method must be performed. Analytical method which are validated in commercial lab, sometimes validation is performed in outside commercial lab. Many validation of that method must be performed. Pharmacopial method, existing pharmacopial method, drug pharmacopial method. It may be possible that the intended drug substance or drug product may have different impurity profile than the pharmacopial drug substance or pharmacopial drug product due to difference in route of synthesis of drug substance or difference in formulation of drug product. To see suitability of pharmacopial method for intended use, many validation is performed. To see carry over the chemicals and reagent used in the process, 
Now question is can regulatory agency ask for complete validation if regulator think that mini validation is not performed properly parameters have not been considered in that case regulator may ask for complete validation. Now question is what should be a strategy for mini validation I am going to discuss in next slide. A strategy review the method and based on sensitivity of the method select the mini validation parameter generally protocol is not required for mini validation mini validation work is performed and report is prepared generally signature of doer and approval of project coordinator is required approval process may be different as per company policy now question is what is the difference between analytical method validation AMV and analytical method mini validation AMMV. I am going to discuss the same in next slide. In this slide I am going to discuss parameter for analytical method mini validation. Which of the parameters of analytical method validation will be considered for analytical method mini validation how analytical method mini validation is performed in surgical way what is the difference between analytical method validation and analytical method mini validation precision in amb it is performed at different concentration as per defined protocol Protocol may contain system precision, method precision, reproducibility or intermediate precision. In analytical method mini validation, it is performed in surgical way. It is decided by project coordinator. If project coordinator think that only precision at a specification level will fulfill the requirement then he may perform precision only at a specification level accuracy in amb it is performed in details as per protocol but in analytical method mini validation it is performed in surgical way if project coordinator think that only recovery will fulfill the requirement then he may perform recovery at minimum level detection limit it is performed in details quantitation level it is performed in details SOCT it is performed in details all the input is related to that stage or drug substance or drug input are injected and suitability of method is checked linearity in amb it is performed in details but in analytical method mini validation it is performed in surgical way range it is extracted from linearity robustness in amb it is performed in details but in analytical method mini validation it is performed in surgical way project coordinator only select those parameter which are highly sensitive for the method i am going to discuss in next slide stability of solution in amb it is performed in details but in analytical method mini validation it is performed in surgical way case study in this slide i am going to discuss how robustness parameter can be skipped in this chromatography condition all peaks that is benzene naphthalene and anthracene are well separated slight change in mobile phase or flow rate or temperature is not going to affect separation of these peaks and hence in this condition robustness test can be skipped in this chromatographic condition all isomers of crisol that is orthocrisol metacrisol and paracrisol are getting separated from chromatogram it is clear that 
there is not baseline separation between metacresol and paracresol and this separation is highly dependent upon the pH. In this condition, pH must be part of the robustness test and robustness test with variation in pH must be part of the mini validation. Now question is, can mini validation parameter be used while performing complete validation? Think over it and write your answer in the comment section. That is all about this session. Please write at least one of your learnings in the comment section. If you are new on this channel, then subscribe the channel and like the video. Let us see you soon in the next session.